Welcome to our lesson on carbohydrates. This is our first of three lessons on the macronutrients, carbohydrates, lipids, and then proteins. Carbohydrates are interesting because through the years, public perception of them had changed. In the 70s, they, they were seen almost as evil. One guy actually was, was got off murder charges because he said he was addicted to Twinkies and the, and the sugar made him do it. Then the 80s came along and people thought that carbohydrates were no problem at all. You can do as much as you want, consume as much as you want, as long as they were low in fat. Then the 90s came, and the Atkins diet, and the low carbohydrate, and they were seen bad again. I think now we better understand that carbohydrates have some good and bad parts to them all together. And the lesson starts by trying to categorize and understand what they are. Carbohydrates as a molecule are neutral molecules made through photosynthesis with carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen in a ratio of one carbon, two hydrogen, and one oxygen, which gives us CH2O, or carbohydrates. But there are many different types, and they can influence it, um, both food and in our body. So something like sugar, which is sucrose, has two basic units of, sh of carbohydrates, and so does lactose, found in milk. Yet they're very, very different, one being very sweet, the other not at all, and very different structure. And then we get something like corn syrup, which is made from glucose, and starch, which is also made from, from glucose, but this is one unit of glucose at a time. And starch are these very large molecules that might have a thousand units, but all of glucose. Pretty sweet, not sweet at all. So we can see that the different types of carbohydrates influence structure and taste of foods. So that's where we'll start, categorizing, understanding how the different ones are alike and different. And then we take them into our body. And our body, as I said, can taste the difference very easily, but also is very picky at the GI tract. We're going to have to take all of these that are more than one unit of sugar, digest them down to the single unit, and bring it in. So we'll take a look at how that process goes. Then we have come to the body, all these different carbohydrates, and they all get converted to glucose. So we're going to take a look at how the body regulates glucose in a normal, healthy individual, and then what happens with disease, such as diabetes, when things are going wrong. So our lesson on carbohydrates, we're going to look at categories and definitions of them. We're going to look at how the body digests and uses it, how we regulate it, and what happens with disease.